I represent Alabam Squishums and today I want to show us how we can make this um, tiered sleeve. I have four tiers here, so I want to show us how we can make it. And it is very easy, uh, it is equally beginner friendly. I have like two A-line gowns on my channel, but A-line gowns are almost the same. The only thing is we are going to be um, changing the the sleeve we are going to be toying with the with the neck you know? to my new subscribers i want to say welcome and for my old subscribers thank you for coming back all the time and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel you know it's a way of encouraging me so for this um, tiered sleeve I'm going to be needing my basic sleeve and here is the draft of my basic sleeve we have done this draft in the previous tutorial this is the back armhole and here is the front armhole from here to here is the cap side I showed you how to calculate the cap side using the chart you can actually make use of the chart to calculate your, your cap side in this particular video, I'm not going to be using this pattern here. I just, I just drafted a free hand sleeve here. To calculate my cap side this time around, I made use of the formula, which is bust divided by 12 plus 0.5. My bust is 41. 41 divided by 12 gave me 3.4. I approximated it to 3.5. Adding 0 0.5 to it gave me 4 inches. Since I'm going to be needing 0 0.5 inches as my seam allowance to join to the shoulder, altogether I measured 4.5 inches for my calf's height. Here, yeah, I measured 4 inches. I can always reshape my armhole once I'm done joining. You know, I've already measured 4 and a half here. Let me see what I have left. I have about 8 inches left, so I'll just divide it into 2. This sleeve, we have 4 layers. If you look at this uh, sleeve I'm copying, I made use of Ankara as my base. But I actually saw that it's not necessary. That's just like a waste of material. Using my lining or using the Ankara will still give me the same effect. So I choose to use my lining in this case. The first tier will start from the armhole line this is the second tier third tier and the fourth tier i decided not to curve my sleeve from the armhole to the elbow because i want to have that loose effect on the elbow side what i will just do is to take out one inch so as to give it a little shaping at the elbow but it's not going to be tight fitted for what this third sleeve I will be making each of the circles 360 degrees flare. That is full circle. If you like, you can make it 180 degrees, but this is totally my preference. My length here is four and a half inches, but I'll be making the length of each of the tiers six inches, except for the last tier, which is slightly longer than the others. I have 11 inches here and this sleeve is on fold. 11 inches times 2 will give me 22 inches. That means the total circumference of my sleeve is 22 inches. And that is what I will be dividing by 6.28 to get the, circle, the radius of the circle. The full tutorial on how to cut a full circle is up on the channel. So I will drop the link in the description box for you to check it up, but I will still explain it here. If Since each of the tiers has a circumference of 22 inches, to calculate the radius of each tier, we are going to be dividing that circumference by 6.28 to give us 3.5. We're going to be taking out 0.5 from that 3.5. I'll be left with 3.3 inches and that will serve as my radius and I will add the length which is 6 inches to that 
three inches to give me nine inches so when i'm placing my fabric on fold i'll be placing a, a square of nine inches on fold this is my ankara i put it i folded it along the yardage and then i folded again because i'm cutting two circles together i just need 3.5 plus i need 3.5 plus six inches so that gave me 9.5 so when i'm turning it over i'll just calculate 9.5 inches or at most 10 inches so yeah now i said i i needed 3. okay let me measure 3.5 here so this is the I want six inches for the length of my flare. So let me just measure ten all together. Okay. So let me see what I have here. All together from from the uh, folded edge here, I have nine and a half. So let me just measure. Connect the dots together. But remember, remember, I said if I should cut at exactly 3.5 here, I mean, have too much. Although if I still cut it, there's no, I'll just move my hand up a bit. We have it for the two slips together. Yes, then I will cut it on one side and then notch notch the center yeah since i'm cutting on the wrong side i will remember to put a mark here so that i don't make any mistake I'll cut the remaining three layers of camera and I'll come and show you now once I'm done. These are the, the four layers. What I will do now is to pick each of the sleeves. I'll start here, put it here, match the center together. We have the two sleeves here. This is the right side of my lining. I'm placing the wrong side of my fabric upon it. And I'm going to be sewing along. I want the fabric to be equal on both sides, so I decided to start from the center, I will do it to the other side, and then start all over again. I've held my fabric to my lining with an office pin. So I'm done with the first layer. And if you look at it now, you will see that it's covering this, uh, the second layer properly. So, over to the next layer now. So this is still the center here. Layer two now. So far so good. We have three layers now. You can see how beautiful it is showing and it's laying flat so i'm going to fix the the last layer for the last layer so right side is facing the right side and then i will join it because this is the way it will now turn because that is the last layer i'm done sewing the last layer to the lining so this is how it will turn I remember for this last layer, I placed the right side on the right side because it will turn in the opposite direction. So you can see that the overlapping really helps. I don't have a sager at home. I will take it to the market so that I can, they can serge it for me. I want it to have some overlapping. Can you see? No matter how much the sedger cuts it i will still have the 
overlap. What I did to this uh, first sleeve, I'll do to the second sleeve. I'm done joining the layers together. I have taken it for surgeon. This side, you will notice that this side covers each layer covers the next layer perfectly so that you can't really see and what i did was to just trim out the excess that i have at the side what i did was to pin down all those all the flare together so that it doesn't shape i will make sure to pack all the flare inside more or less like we are back to our our basic sleeve now the next thing i'm going to do here is to cut out the arm hole i'm going to be measuring my cap side my cap side is four and a half this is where my cap side is located here is the folded side and this is the open part what i'm just trying to do is to pick the flare pieces inside and draw out my arm old curve. You can see that some parts are getting loose, so I'll just try to rearrange it. I'm still pinned down. it out I cut out the the arm wood and you will notice that the whole thing was uh, was the shivel so I just before opening it up I just held it down with office thing. so I will now sew it down so here is the second step I think I prefer this thing too it was easier in this. I'll go and join this in my half time and come back to show you the final outcome. 